Ho oh, dang, ho oh, dang, she's a windy one today. Alyssa is being sent off on her first spring mission. Fix the water system. We weren't really planning on setting our interim water system up again, except since it looks like we have a bit of work to do on our trench and it's gonna be a little while before a permanent system is installed, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can cut the ties with our water jugs. So what we gotta do is walk up the hill and down the hill and we're gonna go ahead and see what we need to do to get the system up and running. So hopefully, we just need to take one trip to the hardware store and hopefully we'll have our system up and running by dinner time. Here she sits. Oh man. So here is where our water goes into our tank. We actually did drain the system before winter, so I wouldn't be shocked if a lot of stuff isn't damaged. So far, this part is looking pretty good, which is a really nice surprise. Stay, stay, uh, stay, stay, woohoo! Here you can see this big two inch ball valve has cracked. These appear to be in good condition, so I think this is all we have to replace on this portion, and I think this is gonna cost us around 20 bucks. Ah. Yep, everything else looks pretty good. Yeah, onwards. It's probably good to uncover stuff like this just to be sure there's uh, no problems. There's so many sticks over this. I have no idea how they got here. Must have a little stick gnome running around or something. It's probably bugaboo. Luckily, it seems that this water line is only breaking where the joints are. There's no joints here, so we should be fine. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and tug every connection and just make sure that it still seems strong. Oh, do you see that? This I don't like. I don't like that at all. Turns out we have damage on the pipe itself. This three quarter pipe that we're using comes in 10 foot lengths, or at least the stuff that we bought. So, so far it seems that we only need one of those, but I'm sure I'll find more by the time I get to the bottom. So let's keep looking. By the way, I don't know how many of you know this about me, but I grew up in a very windy part of the nation and I hate wind. And that's all we have right now. So let's just say I'm fortunate that this isn't a frequent occurrence. It's worth noting that we can't simply just replace this pipe because it's glued to this pipe. So what we're gonna have to do is cut it off here with a saw and then we're gonna have to get another connector and another section of pipe and glue that together. Now that's busted too. I really don't know how this happened since the line was drained. I'm sure Jesse has a good answer to that. <laughs> it's also worth noting that we're completely aware it's not a great long-term solution to have PVC laying on the top of your soil. That said, this was never supposed to be a long-term solution. And in a perfect world, we're only going to have to use this for maybe one more month maybe two months until we get our permanent water system completed. If you want to learn about the installation of our permanent water system, as well as where we've come from and the system we were using before this system here, go ahead and watch our water system playlist. There's a lot of really great information in there. Oh, that's just so like brittle and cracked. It's not even funny. Action number three. Yeah, hey yeah, it's a sword. Wow, that one split the entire length. Here's our fourth. Looks like I'm gonna have to do a little bit of digging to expose this pipe. All right, where were we? Let's keep going. So both those that were buried are garbage. So that's six, seven. Anything's wrong with this thing here. This all looks pretty good. Oh, it looks pretty dang good to me. Pretty good. Kind of always afraid I'm gonna find a snake under here, but it is March, so I don't know that I'll find any. Okay, we have our shopping list. Off to the hardware store, and we're gonna drive the truck, because Alyssa needs to get confident with this dang thing. Couplers 
scissors and glue. Cutlers. Glue could be a little more challenging to find. Hey, lazy butt. What'd you call me? Lazy butt. <laughs> What'd you call me? Somebody has to edit all these amazing videos. That <laughs> the make it to our YouTube only channel. reason we ever kid about Jesse being lazy is because that's not actually true. Oh, uh, you do like I love me. you. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I am a hard worker. And somebody has to do the plumbing, so. Your turn. Nice thing with the snow being gone is things are a little easier to find. Jesse says the cement is in here. Hmm. All weather, medium, clear, PVC cement. Works for me, man. But I'm used to the purple one. Ooh, multi-purpose. So we have multi-purpose and all weather. Hmm, take them both. Ha, the purple kind. Three options, that'll make anyone go crazy. Hey, look who came to visit. Hi, Bugaboo. Is purple one good? It's purple, green, and red. Um, yeah, so that's primer. Okay. And then you should see another one that I think is bigger and it's called All, All Weather, weather yep. Cement. Do you want that one instead? So you need that first. Primer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And now you're a certified plumber. <laughs> yeah. First, let's go ahead and replace this ball valve. Oh, crap. I need that little, like, tape stuff. I'm gonna call Jesse and see if it's necessary. This is terrible. No. Hey, quick question. Do I need that white tape to put over the bulkhead before I thread in the um, ball valve? Okay. I'm already done. The sun hasn't even set yet. But I shouldn't count my chickens before they hatch because there's a good chance there's a leak that I wasn't able to identify. And we still have to get the water and fill the tank, clean the lines out, you catch the drift. Some of you have asked us why Jesse and I get along so well and how we work so efficiently as a team. And I think the answer to that is that we're both willing to do whatever needs done whether or not we know how to do it. So in my case, plumbing is not something I was used to until about a year ago, maybe less than that. So although I don't have a lot of experience, it really is best if we get our water system back up and running just because it gives us a little bit more water to have on hand. And let's be honest, it makes our life a heck of a lot easier. So even though Jesse's back has been giving him fits, Hopefully he's on the road to recovery. We have a new doctor we're about to be working with. And in the meantime, there are projects that need to be done around the homestead. I'm more than happy to jump in because it supports my family. I think I'm done. So do you want to pump water up the hill and test it first or do you just want to go for it? We can try, I don't know. Okay. I'll try to help you. Okay. Oh, mom said I could come out. I'm not in detention anymore. No, I just want to help. Like I want to work and it's really hard. It's hard because I need to be smart about the limits of my body. And uh, I guess the reality is like long-term hurting myself only hurts both of us. So, but I want to come out and do something like it's impossible to just to sit in the trailer. It's funny cause I'm actually sitting there editing this video and I'm looking at all the projects we've done together and I'm just like, my mind is blown. And it's really hard for me now to be like, hey, Alyssa, um, could you go out and like, could you go out and plumb, like do some plumbing? But I think part of what makes this work is that we're both willing to, to just jump in and do whatever it takes. That's the key to the success on this project. Just when I thought I was done, stupid coupler came undone and I'm baffled as to why. The question is, is there enough Not pipe? And check this out, we have just enough pipe. <laughs> just enough. So hopefully you know by now that a knight in shining armor rescuing you on a white horse isn't real, but this, yeah. this is as close as it gets. Jesse saved the day. A wannabe plumber in a Carhartt jacket. Yeah. Down the hill and onwards. Down the hill. if we have water here. Looks 
like that's a yes. It's a good sign. Well, that's it for tonight. We were going to go get water, but we've changed our mind. It's already 7.30, so we'd really rather just do that when we're fresh. We're confident we'll have our interim water solution back up and running tomorrow. Hey, you're done. Finally. Are you hungry? Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Nice, good. I'm whipping up a storm in here. Watch out everybody, there's healthy food everywhere. Hey, I thought of something that I wanted to share that describes our relationship in as few words as possible. It's a bit of Terry wisdom. So I'm gonna drop some Terry wisdom on you. My dad told me that when you have two dudes who work together, their skills double because they reasonably have the same skills. Same thing with women. You get two women working together, their skills double because they've got about the same skills, so they get twice as much work done. When you get a man and a woman who work well together, their skills multiply. They get multiples of work done because their skills are complementary. They often have very different skill sets. When they come together, it's insane what they can accomplish. And I think that's a great example. Today, if I had to go out and do the plumbing job, it wouldn't get done because my back says, ain't gonna happen, son. Anyway, so I can do these tasks and so instead of nothing getting done, one side or the other, everything keeps rolling even though the roles are a little bit reversed today. So this is well deserved. Thank you for all your hard work today. Tough worker right here. She's been at it for almost seven hours. I really don't expect to be treated like a queen because no. I did a little plumbing on my own today. Jesse actually just does this for me very frequently, regardless of who does what. So I'm pretty lucky that way. I'm I'm not an idiot here. I would not be critical of Alyssa if at any point in this journey she decided like I'm done, I'm turning back. But She's a trooper and she committed to this project and that's one of the reasons I admire her so much. There are girly things to do on this journey, but... <laughs> They're few and far between at this point Right in now, life. right um, now. I it's, look forward man, to a lot of other things that are gonna come after we make a big push on our property. I can't really stop cooking dinner if I keep giving you a massage, so... It's good for a while. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I ought to turn it in a minute. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Foot rub next? Heck yeah. 